You guys ready to open up some mail? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish boxes. So let's get to it. It just says you cart. That means it's a cart bowl. <laughs> well, I'll get this one. Right there. Ooh. It's not too crazy. Not as bad as last time. I don't know if you want to try to carry these because the wheels bum busted over here. If you want, you uh, we, we can get that many. All right, what do you want to start with? Start with the littlest. You want to just go little, little to big. I'm the most curious about this one. It's a very, it's a very long box. Very specific shape, but good things come in small packages. All right, let's just get right into this one. I might be able to open this one barehanded. <laughs> just rip it open. Uh, this is from Cynthia in Colorado. It looks like. All right, put out your hands. Close your eyes. Devour. <laughs> I guess that's actually for me. <laughs> Check this out. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good trick. Lol. <laughs> I've actually never seen one of these in the actual box that it came in. That's awesome. So that is going to get ironed out just a little bit. Bring it back to life. I mean, it's it's perfectly fine. It's just lost a little rigidity up top. That's awesome. And I also am not sure that I have this color of this one. I've not kept these terribly well organized on my shelf back here. Because there's just so many between all the McDonald's ones and all the Burger King ones. That's awesome. Was there a note in there? I don't think so. Let me double check. Well, at any rate, I appreciate it, Cynthia. I'm very happy to have one of those in the box. Because uh, I have... I know I have most of the set, because there's not many, right, in those fast food sets of Furbies. Uh, just, you know, like 10 or so, something like that. Let's go ahead and open this one, because it has a very interesting noise. Are you ready? Kind of marbly? A little bit. Potentially candy, I don't know. Uh, this is from... It doesn't say on the outside. Oh, it does. It's written up top. Bloody Bones, I recognize the username. This one, this one needs the scissors. I'm so curious, what's what's making that noise? I want to know too. That's why I went with this one next. But I picked it up at the post office. I was like, "All right, this is a pretty good look." I'm still confused. <laughs> still don't know what it is. Spoilers. Read last. What? What are they? I don't know. Well, hopefully the note says because it attaches to something yeah. they've got little clips in there's a marlin there's a marlin two marlins three marlins three sharks what do you think they're for i don't know i'm thinking mobile <laughs> <laughs> all right well i don't know what they're for like I mean, a wind chime <laughs> well cue the baby comments again oh this week gosh. second week in a row i mean they do kind of size out right to clip into each other but I don't know that that's the point of it. Maybe the note will say what they are. That's kind of... That kind of makes sense. Maybe it's supposed to make like... A thing? Yeah, a I don't shot. know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I dropped everything. You know what those are, don't you? Those are pins? Yeah, it's a whole roll of pins. Holy cow! I might just have a giant collection of Rubber Duck Hot Wheels now. That might actually be a real thing. Just pulling one out of the center. That was oddly <laughs> satisfying. That's awesome. Oh, no way! Okay, I've actually been collecting all these. Oh, that's awesome! And luckily, I've bought most of them and haven't bought this one. Oh. Uh, my Minecraft shelf. That's my favorite size figure. There's smaller ones and bigger ones. That was actually my favorite size. That's awesome. Well, he's going on the shelf today. All right. Stickers for the dice collection, which is timely because if you watch yesterday's episode, I brought home a ton of dice and uh, the noise maker. It is. It's the closer I get to it, the more marbly it sounds. That's exactly what it is. Okay, but I can't get into it without spilling the marbles. Those are cool. It's legit, just clear glass marbles. And they're a little cloudy inside, and there's no seam. 
Does that mean I don't, they're old? I don't know what it means, but I know that's what you look for with marbles, whether or not there's a scene denotes one thing, the cloudiness another, the color another. All right, let's read this note. Dear Tindo and Hannah Bob, square pants. Okay. <laughs> uh, thought I'd send you guys a box of goodies. It's not much, but I love sending you stuff to open on camera. The sharks and marlins. I have no idea what the heck they are. Grab them. We gotta source this together. Somebody, I mean, there's gonna be five or six thousand people watch this video before it never gets watched again. What are these? We're gonna figure this out together. Someone Google it. Someone Google lens it. Someone, I don't know. Figure it out. Comment it below. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to maybe see the sharks hanging up in the background of your videos. Uh, the marbles I found in an old abandoned five and dime store here in the city that I work for. I thought that the duck car might go good in your ever growing duck collection. Uh, let's see, the figure was the last on the shelf. The Minecraft shelf was the last one. Okay, I never thought much about Minecraft until you uh, made the videos. Now I'm proud owner of a PS3 copy of Minecraft. Let's go! Yay! Thanks for all you do, Bloody Bones. We've been having a blast playing Minecraft. Too matter, much. Matter of fact, just to get this video shot, I had to rip her away from it. I'm building a, a pen for all the dogs I'm going to collect because you can make dogs your pets in the game. So I'm going to have a million dogs. <laughs> Hannah plays Minecraft just for the dogs. I do. And I, I do have several of these Hot Wheel ducks that you guys have sent me. And I think I've got enough now to display because that's seriously, that's four or five. Thank you so much for that. And thanks for including your username because you know, we've had interactions before and I, I, I remember you. So the real names, our, our government names, aren't always too helpful. Uh, okay, this next one is from Dustin in Tennessee. I Ooh, said, there's two from Dustin in Tennessee. Oh, really? This one says box one. I was about to go backwards. Does this one say box two? It does, right there. Sure wish I could read. Dustin's probably just like kicking his TV right out. Stop! <laughs> All right, how do I get it here? Um, it's one of these tricky uh, UPS boxes. UP USPS. USPS. All right, there is a note. I think we'll save it for last. Hold it so I don't forget it. Let me give you my first look that I just got. I probably skipped some directions that said open here and got a weird sneak preview, but let's go. That's a good view. Okay, so let's just roll through it. Uh... I remember this from when I was younger. Batman toy from the Batman Beyond animated series. Uh, Human Torch, probably from back when Captain America played him. Very nice. Oh, baby. Tins and coins that I just launched in the stratosphere. I've not been collecting these tins so much, but I have been collecting these coins like crazy. Like, I'm very meticulous about keeping one of every one. So, I'm going to put that in the top. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I probably should just stand here and pick out each and every one. That's got more than a coin! Lit. It's got Power Ranger cards! Now, that was a roller coaster. That's legit. That's cool. I'm not going to open them now. Uh, that's got a whole set of Power Ranger cards inside of it. And uh, I have near the whole collection, but like each set of the collection is missing like two or three. So I'll be getting that binder out and checking to see if uh, I'm missing any of those. More Power Ranger cards in there. Though that one didn't stay stacked so well. That one got jostled in shipping. All right, Hannah, close your eyes. This is the... No way. Put your hands out. Wait, that one's... That one might be factory sealed. Hello. Those are yours. Look at them. Oh, nice! That's crazy. Here, show the camera. Those are beautiful. They do look like this one's sealed too. Yeah, they're super minty. That's crazy. All right, we've got a stack of books too. We're going to definitely throw those on the Game Boy shelf. Oh, that's awesome. Aw. Lego. Okay, so these are Lego magazines. And Incredibles GameCube case cover. Ooh, that's wonderful. Spider-Man print. It's pretty. Oh. Ooh. Mercenaries. Let's just get all that out of the way so I can talk about Yu-Gi-Oh. That's awesome. I only collect Shonen Jump that has Yu-Gi-Oh on the cover. Free collector's edition. Over 72 pages of manga. It's 
awesome. It's just like a, a, a mag. It's the magazine, not the big book. Okay, this next bit makes me a little bit nervous. Are you ready? What's it gonna be? It's two Yu-Gi-Oh tins is what, what it is. What? And a piece of paper. Oh, a poster. Hold on, let's look at the poster first. Okay, Dragon Ball Z. Is that a hint to what's in the tins? Because you've already got me with the tins once. Alright. Take off the top. Oh. Pokemon cards. And Power Ranger cards. That's sweet. I'm serious. I ooh, there's a good holographic one. Some Marvel cards in here? There's it looks to be a little bit of everything. Some Power Ranger cards I've never seen. What is that? Some sort of like out of a coupon book or something. That's awesome. The White Ranger toy on it. Is, there any, is there any other weird thing in there? Bunch of Marvel cards. Yeah, that Ant Man was cool. And then, okay, so so some like newer age Marvel movie cards, which I have none of. So that's awesome. All right, well, I've got a huge video coming on our other channel, Robert Duck Yellow, just going through a bunch of trading card stuff that I've acquired because I've got so much to look at. And I've got so many things nearing completion, like my Power Rangers set, uh, all those cards from the, the show. I've got most of them, and it's actually kind of amazing because it's really just the same 60 cards about 25 times with different color borders, but... <laughs> I'm a bit obsessive, so I got them all. All right, let's read the note real quick. Dear Tendo and Hannah, uh, here's another box of nonsense. Hope you enjoy. Be sure to check inside the tins. Davis Comic Finds on YouTube. That's awesome. Um, that was, I can't wait. I, I get giddy every time we do this, because whenever the video is over, I just go sit and play with trading cards all day. All right, box number two from Dustin. That was awesome. All right, um, I'm gonna get the first peek. Don't look. Protection. Live long and prosper. That's actually a magnet. That's really cool. Okay, here comes the real nonsense. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know like how to start this. I'm peeking. There's just McDonald's toys galore. That's awesome. This Her is super cool. Hercules. Uh, Guitar Hero. I've never seen that. Like a McDonald's or Burger King Guitar Hero guitar. Anime. Nice! Dragon Ball Z. Super Mario. Uh, ugly. <laughs> oh, it's a little Kelly doll. Oh, is it? That's funny. Ben 10. Uh, Mystique. X-Men. Brain Quest, E.T., more Mario, more, more Dragon Ball, GT this time. Ooh, a stack of comic books. The Infernal Devices, that's awesome. Oh, Lord of the Rings, I'm just sitting here staring at this going like, what is this from? That is cool. These are interesting. Tokyo Pop Manga. I don't actually, I don't know that I've ever come across those. Those are uh, pretty. Free Comic Book Day, The Tick. Ooh! Wow! Okay, so this is interesting because this is not Pez branded. Collect all six Pokemon candy dispenser. And it's, uh, here's, I actually have, I'm missing my Pikachu one that I could show you, but it's in the other room, I guess. But there's Pokemon Pez and then Pokemon. That's cool. Well, that is definitely going on the Pokemon shelf over here. I've never seen that! That's now, really cool. Now I want to know what the rest of them look like. Okay. Well, there is another one, but open. That's awesome. The, like, top figure's interactive. That's so cool. Look at this. What? Hello? Look at this little baby in a duck costume. It looks like me in my Mi Minecraft skin. It does. Um, so I discovered something amazing about these. Okay. So you flip the candy thing up. And, and then he bends he over and picks it, it up. It's so cool. That's awesome. Well, I don't want to open the other one since it's sealed. There's another kid in a costume. These are very specific. I've never seen them before. Yoshi again. All right, that's awesome. More Power Ranger cards, but from the movie, which I have most of also. Batman Forever cards. Ooh, multiple tick comics. Street Fighter, let's go. That's cool. 
Very nice. That's cool. I didn't know. I didn't know that Shonen Jump actually had some free comic book day uh, comics like that. Because you know you come across these free comic book day stuff a lot at the at the thrift, and I, I've collected a few of stuff I like. Like I like this one. I'll probably keep this one. Because I, you know, I collect trading card game stuff. That Dual Masters is another trading card game, not to be confused with Dual Monsters. Ooh, look, more Batman. Batman. Heck yeah! All right, I'll set the Pokemon cards aside so that they can live safely with the others. And then there's a big bunch more of McDonald's toys and other in here, including. <laughs> A uh, like a leap star, leap pad, Aww. you know, educational game. The foot foot. I joke about collecting those all the time. It would only ever matter if you collected those if 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 it were way down the road and I had complete collections and I was going for like a, a world record just to be able to say because you can't say they're not video games. Yeah. Just to just to put me over the top, some of the other collectors that hold the record. Not realistic, just a pipe dream. But that'd be a funny way to do it. Wouldn't somebody be mad if they almost had the world record, but I had it because I collected the whole Leap Star set? Just saying, I would do it for the lols. Uh, was there a note? No, it was the second box of the first note. Okay, I'm trying not to miss anything. You're doing good. All right, we got something right here for you. Close your eyes. Who's it from? That's a great question, Tori. There you go. Oh, cool! Yay! Ooh! Oh! She, Ooh. Tori knows us. It's like you know who I am. It's a nice vintage one. I've never had a Beyblade manga. Sorry. Started to steal your booty short. I mean, uh, these thunder. are cute. <laughs> but it's a Beyblade manga! Yay! I don't, I've never had one. Volume 7. These are definitely something I'll collect all of. That, you know what? I, I just never. Nail time always does this. It makes me aware of some things that I, I, you know, that I just not that I didn't know they didn't exist or that they existed, but wasn't aware of. Hold on, tell us about these. I got a little too excited. <laughs> some uh, already distressed little. Those are not your size. Nope. <laughs> um, but they are vintage. These are recently became vintage. Um, so they the they're like early two thousands, late nineties, which. When I first started reselling, was not yet vintage, so I just kind of didn't pick them up. So they were on the edge, but now they are. Had to tell them how I stood in Target. I almost bought this. Like oh two my days gosh! Ago. I stood in Target. You did. And I was like, I don't have a Skelly, and then I was like, I'll get it later. Or I, you know, I, all I'm really interested out of that's the Skelly. So like, I just didn't really rush to pick it up because I I have most of the minifigs from the. Minecraft Lego sets, uh, but I've just acquired them at the thrift, so that's awesome. So that will also be going on the Minecraft shelf. I didn't realize what these were until just now. There's a couple more things in this bag, including a Beyblade <gasps> for me and a pair of shoes for you. Do you know what these are? Brett's shoes! They're from like the later series, like the 2012 to 2014 era. The lawsuit days. The lawsuit days. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I'm very happy have that let's read the note hi guys just sending some nonsense i found at the bins and yard sales uh the manga is from a store called second and charles like bookman's i ah! built one in my hometown and i had no idea what it was until we went it's a very cool store you guys look them up and see if there's one in your area you'll like it thanks for the content love to have something fun to watch every day hope hannah can put the shorts to a good home uh hope the best for y'all in your channels future uh tori Oh, next bid draft on everything. Discord, I, re I recognize that name. Discord, YouTube. Um, I'm swimming in boxes. Let me make myself some room. Bad dad. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you very much for that. Thanks for including a note. Next one is from Chris and Annie. And this looks like a scissor ready box. Ooh, Slicey I, slice. I sliced that good. You did. No, I didn't. Okay, I peeked a little bit. The top thing is for me. Is it? Can I you think. I didn't see it. Here, let's it's all. It's a specific font. Let's at least. all. Let's all peek together. I think I know what it is. Is it Rugrats? I think so. I saw the curly on the. Exactly, it's a specific font. Yeah, we're kind of font nerds around here. This is this is getting interesting. I don't know what it is. I don't either. I know what it's what is is of, but let not me, what it is. Let me tell you, this box was taped up good. 
What is it? Lunchbox? All right, let's oh, make guesses. Like a, a what? It's like a little toy box. Oh, it's got stuff. All right, well, we're digging right in. Whoa! Oh! <gasps> what? Okay, well, Pogs, that one's super full. All right, this feels like Pogs. This feels like Slammers for Pogs because it's very heavy. Oh, my gosh. Whoa! Piece of acrylic. Slammer. That's just a chunk of plastic. That's awesome. And there's a lot here. Oh my gosh. Well, we're not going to make a pog video right now and dig through all these. But uh, just so you know, I went from no pogs to more pogs than I had. Way more pogs than I had when I was a kid. Same. Really quickly. Okay. But I'm super curious about these. Can you tell what that is? Is no. it just? Is it just for display? It's a coaster! <gasps> That's so cool! Isn't that crazy looking? You had me fooled, cause... This is amazing! Yeah. No, that's crazy. How did they do this? Well, I, honestly, I mean, if you made them, please comment below, but they, I mean, this is a commercial product. They're laser etched with PlayStation logo. They're, they're molded, they're form molded. Yeah, no, these are great. Those this are is, awesome. this is a product, probably, Probably was for sale at one time at uh, GameStop. Well, that's our new coasters. I thoroughly enjoy those. Bag of dice. Bag of minifig. Well, you could just stop there with the Rugrats thing. That's awesome. So awesome. I will have to figure out something to do with this. We don't really collect any Rugrats stuff. No. But... We kind of have. We had a shelf for a while that had like the VHS, and we we had like a Reptar shelf. I think is more what we had yeah. for a little while. And then look at this. There's still just more Pogs floating around Woo. here, and let's just run through all this. Some of it I don't even know what it is. Okay, hold on. So okay, a video cartridge for Game Boy Advance with Yu-Gi-Oh. That's awesome. I saw the logo for the video, but I oh, there's another one. Uh, that one is Pokemon. But I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a cleaner kit for Game Boy. Oh, cool. That's very useful. I can just stop blowing in my Game Boy all the time. BD Baby. What is this, Hannah? Oh, it's one of those mid middle Bratz dolls. I, have, I only have one. Can like teenagers? Else? It's like not the kids, not the... <laughs> I guess if I were meant, playing with them, yeah. I you would. meant middle in size. Yeah, yeah. They, there's like the baby brats. There's the brats babies that are like the chunky ones. And then regular size brat dolls are about this size. And then this is like the middle size. That's awesome. Those are so crazy. I didn't know those existed. Well, tell us what this is. Because <gasps> I don't have any idea. Oh. They're all their shakers. Yeah. I was like, I think this is the salt shaker. I think the pepper one is more like brown on top. Mobe blades. Oh, those are beautiful. Well, Tupperware. That's cool. So the plastic was Tupperware. Is that like corningware? Is there some sort of like knockoff? Um. You never know with that pattern stuff. It is. It's corningware's pattern, but I don't know if it's like but by you, like you can't, or something. You can't guarantee which one it is. You're right. They're they're all like interchangeable brands sometimes. Let me let me speak some words into existence. And have you react to them? Are you ready? Is that the other shaker? It's the other shaker. Are you ready for this? Okay. Power Rangers. Okay. Snack set. Sounds delicious, but <laughs> what really was it spoiled. last week? We got some weird Power Ranger stuff last week, and we were like, "Oh yeah, look at this other weird stuff." Um, like this. This is one of my weirder things in the collection. White Ranger Bobber for your fishing pole. Lol. Power Ranger snack set. That's awesome. I guess like you can put a sandwich and some. Chi I don't know. That's awesome. Like if you juice can box cooler. It's like a koozie for your juice. <laughs> oh my god, we need to get juice boxes. But you're probably gonna keep that sealed. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna open that. But <laughs> so how cool would you be if you were in elementary school and just roll it up with your juice box and some like Cheerios and that little little snack thing and be like, guys. It's morphin time. I'm sorry, guys, but like I can't talk to you anymore because I'm way cooler than you are. All right, uh, Lego. A nice bag of that. What's the Friends Lego set? Yeah. And some other stuff. Okay. I like those. You can get pink Legos. Um, there's a lot of Beanie Babies in here. Nice. 
Which is good, because now we have some Beanie Babies for our Beanie Baby stand. Watch out, Hannah. You're blocking it. I'm sorry. Boom! <laughs> Here you go. Hard Rock. Hard Rock Cafe! Honolulu. There's a, a like, sealed DS bag of there. Oh, I guess that's the packaging it came in. Which would make it the nicest one we have. We were reselling these for a while, but we ended up with a bunch that were just dirty. And we cleaned some of them, but some of them were just so torn. They show up at the bins, but they get pretty wrecked. So yeah. uh, that one's going to have to go on my shelf just because it's actually untouched. And a good representation of what they're supposed to look like. Yay! Mine. More Beanie oh, Baby. Oh, it's like a tiny cake take. I love it. I need to just throw these Beanie Baby over there <gasps> with the Beanie Baby side. What's inside? Hold on, show the camera. Oh, the other one. The other one. <laughs> That's awesome. It is awesome. All right, there's a note. Hold on to that. Okay. Did we open this upside down or was it supposed I don't to know. be? I'm sure I did it wrong somehow. Oh, baby. Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. It's awesome. I don't have that game, but when I get it, I'll have the manual. Okay. More pogs just. I did open it upside down because upside down, look, there's the scissor protection. Lol. We had the reverse experience of the intended. <gasps> That's beautiful. That is awesome. I guess. Not all bad because we got to open that last. Yeah, well, that's definitely going on the Pokemon shelf. I'll have to keep. I'll have to do some googling, to see what the uh, lunchbox that it came in looks like. All right, games: Madden, NASCAR Thunder. Let's go, Ratchet and Clank. No, just Ratchet. Hey. We fit. Let's go. Been a while since someone sent me. We fit. Uh, Battlefield Two. You can't see it. There's a top row of Wii U games back here. The whole row behind it and the row below that, we fit. So that'll go over there. All right, let's see the note. I'm very, very excited about that thermos. We got like, between that thermos and then this uh, Pokemon dispenser, we got some really cool stuff with the Pokemon show. We'll go ahead and put them over there. Tindo and Hannah Bob, Princess Warrior. We've been watching your channel daily for over a year now, and it's something we look forward to every day for a long time now. We've been putting together this box of stuff with things we found while thrifting together in the Columbus area. Uh, a while back, we sent some vintage uh, aluminum cups for Hannah. I, we definitely remember that she drinks out of them every day. I use them all the time. You drink, she drinks milk out of them nightly. Well, if you watched last week's video, that's what you drink out of. Oh, when I eat the hot gummy bear, gummy yeah. Bear. Uh, let's see. A little cups for Hannah while we were still working on this shipment. We finally filled the box. Please enjoy this gift of nonsense. Feel free to keep sale or do whatever you wish with it. Thank you again for all the great content. Well, thank you so much. You got you gave us a lot of stuff for our shelves. Um, I'm, I'm just constantly amazed by mail time when that weird stuff shows up. And I get it. I get why people see it and go, Tendo and Hannah, you know, <laughs> Snack set, man. That's so awesome. The, the second mid-sized bar or brat stall. I'm so excited about it. Yeah, we need to figure out a little bit more about what they are. Yeah, I've I, never uh, seen them. Well, the funny thing about like we talk about the Furby wiki all the time and the Bratz wiki. The funny thing about those are there's no way to just sit down and consume all of it. You only yeah. you only look through that stuff to find what you're looking for, and then you find something else you didn't know exists, and then you go look it up on the wiki to see what other ones there are. It's just, we keep getting boggled, mind boggled by all the Furby and Bratz stuff there is. The Bratz wiki is very confusing. Yeah. It's not very well, that, organized. That's, <laughs> most wikis being organized by people in the general public, it's not often perfect. You get really lucky when you collect something and there's a, a forum out there completely dedicated with regular users that catalog stuff. Yeah. And uh, I almost want to be that. If I ever have the Super Ultimate Massive Furby collection, I might just become that guy and make the new Furby online... Uh, Your contribution to society. Cataloging Furby. Tendo. Uh, Scissor Guard, thank you very much. Scissor Guard 2, thank you very much. Note, hold on to that. Did I read who this was from? It's from Bill. Bill. In Arkansas. Ooh. Oh. Like a little sponge? Yeah. So cute. Fighter jet. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a micro kite, so you just drag it around on a screen. Cool. Boom! What is this? Oh, it's oh, a it's puzzle. Oh, it's a puzzle. 
That's cool. That's so funny. Uh, we've we've got a puzzle or two on the sh on your Bratz shelf, but they're not in boxes like that, so I didn't expect that to be a puzzle. This is like the actual Bratz boxes, though, like the actual dolls. Oh, it's shaped like the. Yeah. I get I get it. Uh, this is very interesting. And just I don't know. Open that up and tell me what that is. Oh my gosh. Is it like, is like a Bratz beach towel? Or is that just? <gasps> it's like Hold an it actual up. bath towel. It's a Bratz bath towel. Hold that up here. We're a. Uh... <laughs> That's my towel. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna use it? It's mine. Don't use it. <laughs> and then that, I guess I'm gonna wrap my hair in it at night. <laughs> you're so glamorous. I guess it's actually a proper little pouch for it. That's awesome. What is this? Oh, it looks like Dallas size. Mm, it's pretty big. It's two XL, but it's a wide Ooh. one. Panda. What does it even say? Pandemonium. Pandemonium. Because he's there's... ripping apart the Empire State Building. It's pandemonium. That's awesome. I'll see if I can fit in it. Ooh, Pokemon manga. That's awesome. It's beautiful. What is it? Dumb and Dumber Pop. <laughs> That's great. And then Mars Attacks, but it's got eBay stickers on it, so it looks more like it's just a container. I don't know. Either way, we should open it. I'm trying without ripping it. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to open it. Okay, you gotta be smarter than the box. <gasps> I didn't know that existed! What? There's Steven Universe, let me just have a small stack to show them. There's Steven Universe trading cards. Of course those exist. There's like a whole set of fusions. <laughs> These are all fusions. Stevani! She was so just awesome. That, That's that is awesome. Garnet and Steven. All right, well, we know what Hannah's going to do for the rest of the day. You need to put those in a binder. binder. We just put them in a frame. Hang them above our bed. Um, so. <gasps> it's pink Lars with a. Oh, that's awesome. That's Space so Lars. Funny. Well, look at this bit of odd trivia. Okay, hand mirror, right? For beautification. Mm-hmm. It's got Pikachu on the back. <laughs> but it almost like, I can't tell if it came this way or if someone did this. But Pokemon, Pokemon shelf it is. That is odd. I've, I've never seen that. All right. Shrek the Third Gingerbread oh. Man. Splitsies. I love that we're getting snacks all the time. Uh, these are pins, but I can't tell for what. Just like, I don't know, miscellaneous pins for the pin board. Willpower, John Cena antibacterial wet wipe. That's great. That is great. Go ahead, everyone else does. He's telling the bird to poop on him. Oh no. Uh, makeup blood. What? Nintendo Club calendar for 2011. So funny. The exact kind of odd thing that I keep on my Mario shelf, which by the way is going to get its own shelf, I think, behind my gaming rig mm -hmm. next to the Minecraft shelf, so I'll be holding on to that for sure. Toy Story puzzle and then just a big stack of magazines <laughs> amidst some Play-Doh. Are you going to die? <laughs> I'm going to just read in a magazine fiber. <laughs> magazine, just drink some sweet tea. Um... This is awesome. Ta Brady stick. Games, Game Design, Secrets of the Sages. That's awesome. It's very cool. Brain, brain. Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto 4, and San Andreas. That's awesome. All right, let me have the note. Uh, okay to read, Dear Dallas and Hannah. I'm uh, writing and hoping that you can read my bad handwriting. I've been collecting since my grandma took me and my sister to the dump in the 80s to get treasures. Now I collect Star Wars, Stephen King horror, uh, Get Along Gang, DVDs, and video games. Enclosed is stuff that I thought you'd enjoy. Do with it what you like. Uh, prefer you keep, but you are grown, so feel free to do whatever. There, there's a whole lot of keep here. A whole lot of stuff for our shelves. I appreciate that you paid enough attention to like know the exact weird kind of stuff that we put on our shelves. Because... That is exactly what that is. It's so cool. I love that Club Nintendo stuff because I never was a member of it. I never got any of it while they were doing that kind of thing. But like I've acquired a surprising amount of it. Yeah. Those Steven Universe cards though. You got one more to look at? The cheeseburger backpack! 
know if you guys remember the cheeseburger backpack in case you didn't know. You know, I might have messed up pulling a few of them out because I think they're in like order of the episodes. Oh, really? Well, you can go back and put them in order. We'll probably be binder them. I don't keep a lot of the trading card stuff, just the very specific stuff like Power Rangers. And we've gotten a lot of it over the last, you know, several months. But that's probably going to go squarely in the keep column. Now, this next one's from Orange County Picker, who we have heard from several times. And I'm very curious about the size of this box that he's sent. Saved it for last. Well, we try to go out with a bang. And I don't know, just something about the shape of this box makes me think very specific choices were made. Okay, are you ready? Don't oh, look, don't very look. You already looked. Choices you already been looked. Made. It's, it's literally just like, so most of the Bratz bags that we've acquired have been like specifically compartmentalized for the dolls and stuff. Yeah. That's a proper Bratz bag. It is. But like, I could use this as my luggage bag if I wanted to. To hold a nice pair of jeans, a t-shirt, toothbrush, Oof. overnight bag. We've both got one with our names on it. Ooh. That is cool though. My, well, you might have to rock that next time we travel while I rock my uh, hamburger backpack. And go! Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, are you threatening me? Keep you for my bunk hole. You don't oh my know, god. You don't know about Cornholio, do you? I do not. I don't think you've ever seen Beavis and Butt have, have you? We didn't have the channel that it was on, or I was definitely not allowed to watch it. It's definitely the latter. Uh, that's awesome. That looks like it would be a good fit. <laughs> Such a, I'm going to have to send a picture of that to my brother. <laughs> Alright, this is interesting. It looks like some sort of interactive Pokeball, of which we have some interesting ones. Oh, it's a guess game. Oh, so it's... Is it different? Yes, no, it's the same. So remember, there was a mail time, we did a whole thing, and it guessed which Pokemon I was thinking of. It guessed Snorlax. It did! You want me to try it? Hello, See if they We've made a mistake! I turned it off. Um, I did not know there was a base for it. It would be funny if I could sit here and have them talk to each other. It would be funny. All right, that's cool. I didn't know it had a base. Toy Story, a read aloud storybook. Cute. More trading cards, but I don't know what they are. This is actually a game of some sort with barcodes. Oh, I, I've got a few of these, but I'm not familiar with the game. <clears throat> That's awesome. And uh, Eternal Warrior trading cards. Howard the Duck, let's go! Hey! That's so dope. A friend of mine had a Howard the Duck shirt on the other day, and I was just like, why can't I have one of my size? Here's the reason that that box was so interestingly shaped. Are you ready? Ooh, what's it gonna be? There's a note, there's a note on the outside of it. Hmm. Is it from them? From my originals. Ooh. Hold on to that, we'll put it back in there when it's done so it doesn't get <laughs> torn up in this mess in here. Oh, wow. Whoa! I'll help hold it. That's the cover of issue number one, I think. Really? I think so. We found that out like last week from the other poster. Fall issue 1991. It's the first few. All right, we got to roll that back up super carefully. That's like super collector. So yeah, he sent us a, 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 a poster of the all the covers of Game Informer. And then this one is just of the one. I'm going to get both of them framed. That has to be babied. 
it's not going anywhere but back in the tube. Did I get it small enough now? Not quite yet. I, don't, I just don't want to be rough with it because it's so minty. Uh, we chatted a little on the Discord, me and this gentleman, and he has these first several issues. Oh, really? Yeah, he's also a book collector. <laughs> he has lots of first issues of just lots of books and stuff, so it wasn't too surprising that he had them. But it was really cool because I'd never actually seen copies prior to that. It almost fell out the bottom. <laughs> I got it. Well, thank you guys so much for that. Um, very eye-opening. All this mail from Mail Time today. Like, there's just five, six different things I need to go Google right now. So, these guys also have a... Uh, a store of their own, uh, pre-adored modern and vintage clothing. Nice. So definitely check them out. Rare, vintage, uh, peculiar. Go to orangecountypicker.com or check them out. Orange County Picker on Instagram. Uh, I've checked out their stuff. They've got some good stuff. Uh, but I'm equally interested in this guy's book collection. I want to. I, I want to see it one day because he's got some crazy stuff. May tenth, twenty twenty one. Well, 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 Mister Tendo, Miss Hannah. We meet again. A box of nonsense awaits. When I'm thrifting, I have a list in my head of items that friends might enjoy. Anything Wu Tang related is for Mike. Another friend loves vintage punk rock. I always keep an eye out uh, when I'm big game hunting at the thrifties uh, for such things. He, I added the thrifties. Um, now I have you two inside my brain. Three XTs for him should be fun. Nostalgic. She has a brat's obsession. Also likes jeans. As Charles Bukowski once said, drinks crossed out. G gifts for all my friends. So he said drinks for all his friends. But we have changed it to gifts for all my friends. Uh, be well. Peace and love. Uh, John T. Orange County Picker. Uh, P.S. One day I'll tell you the story of when my wife called me and said to rent a U-Haul because she just bought the entire contents of a thrift store that only sold Levi's. The owner was a di the owner was dying and had a couple of weeks to live. Yes, that happened at one time. Our garage had 3,500 pairs of jeans inside of it, none of them older than 1999. She paid $500 for all of it. Well, we definitely want to hear that story. Next, oh my God, I would have bought them. <laughs> next <laughs> like, time, take my money. <laughs> please let me give you double. <laughs> Um, next time we're in Southern California, we'll hit you up. We can chat books too. Thank you so much. This will definitely be hung up around here somewhere. I don't have room for posters in the game room, but I actually have a collection of posters going on right off camera over here. But thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We appreciate it. Do me a couple few favors before we get out of here. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We just hit, I think just today, if you're watching this, we'll just have hit... 11,700 so help us continue Ooh. on to 12,000 we'd really appreciate it a couple other things you can do before you go check out the links in this video's description there's a lot of cool stuff you can check out like there like someone sent me the minecraft toy they've been watching some of our minecraft videos which you can see in the links below uh also you can just click this video in front of hannah's face and watch those minecraft videos there click the video below that check us out playing some super smash and then over here in this corner if you click that button it'll help you get subscribed if you're not already so until next time guys peace out